Yo, what is going on guys, Mitch Gators here, coming back with another Forza Horizon 4 video. And today's video is actually me showing a new money glitch that I would recommend using to all of you. And it's going to be very simple, uh, it's just going to be a few steps and they're very, very simple guys. So I'm going to be showing how exactly how to do that in today's video. And I'm also going to be showing uh, how you can actually use it the most effectively. And I'll give a prediction as to how much money you can expect to get by using this method towards the end of the video. So guys, before I get started on the video, I'm just going to let you know is that I actually have a Discord server for my YouTube channel, and uh, feel free to join it if you'd like to. There will be a link to that in the social media part of the description, and um, that, uh, there's a lot of trading on there, free cards given out all the time, and you can also talk to me or partake in all the new um, all the events like cops and robbers and all that, and you guys will be the first to know when these new glitches are out before I make a video about them. So now let's get on to the actual video. So today's vi video, um, we'll actually be going over a new money glitch that no one has, I've not seen a single video talk about this on YouTube since the release of Forza Horizon 4, and it's pretty similar to another glitch, and this is the uh, Edinburgh City Sprint glitch, it's not that, but it's similar to that, and a lot, some people have been having issues with that, so I'm sure a lot of you might know, but my most viewed video on my channel is about that Edinburgh City Sprint glitch, and it's essentially where you can idle and actually get a lot of skill points and make a lot of credits. This one is quite similar to that, although it's a different course, and there's a few different things you need to do, and then no one has actually ever seen, or I've never seen any videos on it, there's no blueprints about it being a money glitch, so I can only assume that I'm the first to make a video about it, and if you guys are going to make another video about this, um, if you're a content creator and you see this, I'd appreciate if you guys could give me credit for this, just so people can see where it came from. So of course, now we're getting onto uh, what actual race it is. So guys, if I go over onto the map here, there's actually quite a lot of road racing. I'm just going to go ahead and filter just so it only shows road racing series because that's all that's going to be relevant. A lot of you would have seen the glitch on the Edinburgh City Sprint. Like I said, this is different. Today, this is going to be talking about the Bamber Coast Circuit, and this is by the Bamber Castle. So it's a very simple glitch, there's not too many steps to it, but there's one thing that I would recommend doing, and it's actually getting a car with a skill points uh, boost. So it's a Force Edition car, so I'm going on my cars and I'll show you that I actually have two of them. So the first one is a Peugeot, um, I believe it's a Peugeot Renault, one of the ones. So this is one that a lot of people use guys, the Renault 5 Turbo Force Edition, it has a skills boost which is important, but the one I use is actually a Peugeot and this is the one that is equally as good, it's a little bit more expensive but in my opinion it's just a bit better. I won't actually get you any more skill points, I just like it better, it's a cooler car in my opinion, so that's what I use, just to be different from what the most, from the majority, but you guys can use either one of them, they'll both get you a lot of skill points. And something that's extremely important before you actually get onto this glitch is to ensure that you have uh, upgraded this car with the car mastery ability points. So if I go into my car mastery, I have 4 out of 16 skill perks, but I have the most important ones. So the first one isn't so important, but it allows you to unlock the other one, so it's a prerequisite. The next one allows you to get car pass skill scores are increased by 20%. This is the foundation of the glitch, so I definitely recommend you upgrade this. This one earns you 10% more skill score from combo skills, also very necessary. This one allows your skill multiplier to build twice as fast, which is very important. So there aren't too many other ones I'd recommend getting. Maybe you could get them if you really wanted to, but they're not necessarily uh, a prerequisite. Like, you don't necessarily need to get them. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this glitch. Now at the time, if you're watching this, you could actually go solo and go blueprint events, and um, there may be one by me. So if you go search, you should be able to go Mitch Cactus. So I'm just gonna type this. You should be able to go this, guys, and there will be one by me. By the time of the recording this, I'm actually making one right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to create the route in case you want to, in case mine doesn't show up or something along with that, like you're in offline mode. I'm just going to show you guys exactly what you do need to do in terms of making it. So those steps are very simple, and I will be showing you guys how to do that. And uh, so essentially once you're in here, you just want to go a little bit forward. So uh, actually, no, you want to go back up to about in line with these, the end of this Horizon Festival uh, barrier. So I'm going to want to go here and place a checkpoint and then continue to go back a little bit more. Now, typically when I'm here, I decide to like go a little bit left and right just to confuse the AI a little bit. And then you want to place a checkpoint right here, stop your car and start going forward. And this is when you're going to go through the little course. So I'm just going to go forward a little bit and um, turn right at this pretty soon here, guys. So I'm actually going to go right along this course. So it's going to be very pretty easy for you guys to follow. I'm just going to place one checkpoint here and that's the only checkpoint you're going to need to place from now on. So now I'm going to follow this little beach course here and go up to the side. And at one point, you actually want to turn up onto the hill. And I'm going to actually go ahead and do that now. As you can see, the gate to the entrance of the castles here. And from here, you just want to go in, uh, cut onto this main road. And I'm just going to go off. You could just go around the road. It doesn't really matter too much about which exact way you go. But as long as you're following my general course, you will, it will work. 
So now you want to turn right up here and um, you will not need to place any more checkpoints. It will automatically finish you once you, it'll place a finish line up here. You can see now that I've finished with that event, um, the, as I've finished setting it up, it's time to test drive it for the community like I said. So the difficulty bonus credits part does not matter too much as um, you're not going to really be uh, finishing the event. It's more that you just leave once you're content with how many skill points you've acquired. So now I'm going to start the race event and at this point you're going to want to do one lap around the course before you actually start to um, AFK in the spot and start to get the skill points just to ensure that all the AI have done it with you because that is what they'll naturally want to do. So of course you sort of, you're just going to follow the uh, track or the road that you've taken. No other checkpoints have been placed like I showed and uh, it's going to be pretty simple here guys so let's go ahead and follow. It doesn't exactly matter where you place in this first part it's more about just ensuring that the AI are going with you and you're following the correct course and you end up at the uh, finish line I guess. As you can see, I actually smashed a pole. It's not too bad, just letting some AI pass me. And from here, I'm just going to want to turn right down at this uh, this part here. And uh, towards the end of the section, it's going, to, it's going to be where it's going to start to say checkpoint miss, turn around. And that's what it'll be saying to the AI. And it might say to you a few times when you're trying to do this, but if it says that, just you want to just keep going and try and find the perfect spot. So as you can see, it's not really saying it to me too much, but they're all starting to pass me. It, oh, you want to go back. So I guess this is where it'll be a little bit of um, test and trial, trial and error. It's going to say this a few times, guys. So um, I might go try forward this time. I'll try to go backwards. So you have five seconds each time. There you go. It goes away once you uh, go back a little bit. And from here, I'm just going to want to go and see. So you can see this car's glitching out a little bit, just going back and forth. But this is where I'm really want to find the perfect spot while I have the time here before it starts saying checkpoint missed. So I'm going to try and sit here. And as you can see, they're going to start passing me again. Maybe go a little bit further forward. As close as to this checkpoint as I can get without it saying checkpoint miss, guys, is what you really want to achieve. So as you can see, it's still passing me, and I'm starting to get ultimate pass points. Let's see if it'll keep up. Yep, there you guys go. I'm really starting to get these ultimate pass points, and the good thing about this glitch, guys, is that they will automatically bank um, while, because they're not quick enough to be uh, continuously going, and that is good. That means if you leave this AFK, guys, you leave your Xbox or you leave your PC on overnight, you'll wake up to hundreds, if not uh, over a thousand skill points just from AFKing like this, and it's very simple how this works, guys. You just want to sit in this one spot, and they'll continue to pass you constantly. And um, the good thing about this, like I said, is that if your skill chain maxes out, if your skill, basically, the maximum skill points you can get in one chain is 10. And if your skill chain is over 70,000, you're going to only get 10. So it's to max efficiency, you want it to be stopping under 70,000 or at 70,000 every single time. So if you're doing this glitch and your skill chain is constantly going to like in the millions, when the ends, guys, you're only going to get 10 skill points. At the end of the day, it's not very efficient. So the good thing about this glitch and this race is that it's very easy to do. It's um very is very simple to unlock. Some people hadn't even unlocked the Edinburgh City Sprint, and that is why I recommend this variant. And I'm gonna come back after 10 minutes of AFKing and show you guys it'll still be working. So guys, I actually got disconnected from the race because of course it was um that's not because of anything. That's just because it was actually um it was not a fully event. I was simply test driving it. But I will now show you guys how to turn those skill points into credits, and yes, it was still working. Now they've actually uh, created the blueprint. If you guys want to use this one, this is the one I just used in this video, Money Glitch YT Tutorial. That is it, guys. So that's if you want to search it up and you want to use it yourself, that is exactly how to do so. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to convert these skill points you have right into credits. So the first thing you want to do is just head over to the festival. This is the first step. And I'm going to try and show two methods if I have enough time to you guys because I don't want to stretch this video out too long. I'm trying to put everything into as quick as possible so you guys can enjoy it. And you simply want to go into the uh, actual, you want to go into the shop and auto show and go to manufacturers and head over to Porsche here. And um, what you're actually looking for is the 911 Turbo 3.3. And a lot of you guys would know about this method. It's been around for a long time, but it's old but gold. It's still the most effective way to convert skill points to credits easily and effectively. You get it 100% it works 100% of the time because they're from auto show so that you'll be able to do the same thing over and over again and once i got this car i'll show you guys exactly what to do next first thing you want to do is head over to upgrades and tuning here and then go over to car mastery and if you look at here i'm just going to upgrade the full left side that's what you need to do and you can see the credit icon in the top left and that resembles 300,000 credits and considering the car only costs 150,000 that's a profit of 150,000 credits every single time you do it guys there you go 300,000 credits in the bag and of course I'm just going to go ahead and get that extra wheel spin just because I can. One skill point I'd recommend doing it to test your luck and another way to do this guys is actually there's one other car in the auction house and it is the Triumph and um, this is pretty good uh, method as you buy it from someone it's a barn find car 
and you can buy it from someone and you can test your luck. Sometimes they might have already used that uh, credit ability, but sometimes they won't have. So you're looking for the Spitfire and ways to assume that they might not have used it is by looking at their like the levels and to make sure it doesn't have a tune or a design. So this one looks stop guys, the player looks like he's just literally just listing it as new, low buy, I don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and buy this, and um, it might already have the card mastery used, it might not, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it's pretty luck based, but if they don't have it used guys, you only spend around 11,000 credits and you get 200,000 back, so the credit margin is extremely good guys, so I'm going to go over to Triumph, I'm going to check if uh, that one does actually have it used, here's my new one, and I guess we'll have to have a look, and of course this is a barn find car, so if you already have one in a barn find, I'd recommend using it. But other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and go upgrades and tuning, and Car Master it has been used unfortunately, but sometimes guys, you can find them with ones that haven't been used. So guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, of course. This was just going to be a brief video, just, just showing this new money. And um, guys, hope we, can we hit 150 likes in this video? And um, if you guys want me to, I can make another video going in-depth on actually how to create that route, just for you guys, in case you want to find out. And um, that's going to be about it. If you guys want to subscribe to stay updated for more Money Glitch videos and all the next Glitch videos, uh, my channel will be the first one to post them. I do weekly huge credit giveaways and do a lot of car giveaways on my Discord, so make sure to join those and uh, make sure to subscribe. And that's going to be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment any suggestions or feedback and make sure to smash the like button, like I said. Thank you, guys.